A fire at a nuclear plant north of New York City has caused one of its reactors to automatically shut down. Regulators say people living in the area aren't in danger. The fire started in a transformer on Saturday at the Indian Point nuclear power plant. It's about 60 kilometers from New York City. The fire was quickly put out and no one was injured. Officials say one of the two operating reactors was safely shut down. The U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission says the plant is stable and there is no danger to the public. A fire broke out at an Indian Point nuclear plant in upstate New York over the weekend. It was contained pretty quickly and authorities claim there was no radiation leak. However, thousands of gallons of oil did spill into the Hudson River. And as Alexei Yaroshevsky reports, this incident reignited talks about the future of that facility. A series of fires at the Indian Point nuclear facility in upstate New York, just 40 miles from Manhattan, created grounds for concern on Saturday night that there may be a leak of radiation. But the authorities are insisting that the fires happened uh, in the non-nuclear part of the station and that there is no chance and no threat whatsoever of nuclear particles breaking out from the nuclear facility. But there is a concern of a different kind. The fires, the series of fires called by, uh, caused by a failed uh, transformation former leaked uh, thousands of gallons of oil into the Hudson River over here. And the authorities claim there's nothing to worry about and that the oil spill may take up, up to 48 hours to completely clear up. The issue now is uh, they used a lot of foam and apparently oil was released from the transformer. Uh, so the, uh, the goal now is to contain the foam and the oil so it doesn't go into any of the storm drains which could possibly leak into the Hudson River. Uh, and the appropriate personnel have been called on site to uh, minimize that damage and to uh, survey that. So Governor Cuomo says that it may take up to 40 hours to uh, contain the oil spill, but environmentalists are not really buying this. We spoke to investigative journalist Greg Palast, who told us that such an oil spill just simply cannot be contained in just two days. No, I mean, one of the problems of oil is that it goes all over the place. And look, the state and Con Ed already dropped a boom, and Entergene, the other owner, dropped a boom around the oil, which they thought would contain the oil. So the same guys that screwed it up in the first place. First they had an explosion, then they couldn't contain the oil. Now they're saying that they can contain the oil. I can tell you, I worked on uh, on the Exxon Valdez spill, which of course is a lot bigger, but you know, the idea that you can run around corralling all that oil is, is uh, silly, sick, and, and ain't gonna happen. We started to inspect other parts of the river, and when we saw oil sheen that was even across on the other side of the river, that stuff's never going to get cleaned up. This latest incident at the Indian Point nuclear facility reignited debate uh, whether this station should be in operation at all. Now, environmentalists here uh, in this area who call themselves river keepers have been insisting that the station needs to be shut down. Its equipment is obsolete, and it pretty much is a disaster waiting to happen. It has to be put out of operation. It is now 53 years old. The infrastructure is very old. It is very old technology. It's also starting to, you're starting to see problems with it. More and more, you're seeing leakages and fires like this. And the Indian Point 3 reactor only has a firewall there, fire protection insulation to last for 24 minutes, where other nuclear power plants have it to last up to three hours. This is something that they have gotten a waiver from the NRC to have. That's not acceptable. We've got to have this plant closed down. It doesn't even meet the standards of what nuclear plants are supposed to meet in the United States. The Indian Point's nuclear power plant was put in operation in the 1960s, and most of its equipment, according to the environmentalists, has not been upgraded ever since. And this is creating a major grounds for concerns. So we are continuing to follow the situation, both with the oil spill and whether there will be any actual feedback coming from the U.S. Congress on the idea of shutting this uh, power station down. Alexei Roshevsky, RT, reporting from the Indian Point's nuclear facility in upstate New York. Just be quiet for once in your life In a few minutes be loud as you like But for now Forget what you're going to say Do you feel that in the stillness 
It's who you are with no bullshit. In your chest, the pain expands. You feel heat radiate in your hands and your eyes. Filling up with tears. You're not incomplete. Your tears are salty. You're not wired wrong, you're not faulty You may not be remembered But you'll never be replaced Hear the drip drop of the melting snow Tick tock Goes to watch you feel the seconds go And your son Is banging down the doors Time is constant Life is tiny And gigantic And never tidy People in Japan have weighed in on what Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's statements should say to mark the 70th anniversary of the end of World War II. And an NHK survey also found many are still opposed to the country's nuclear reactors restarting. The survey was conducted by telephone from Friday through Sunday of last week. Just over 1,060 people responded. They were asked if the statement should include an apology for Japan's colonial rule and wartime aggression. 30% agreed, 23% disagreed, and 38% had no opinion. Similar expressions were used in previous statements by other prime ministers, including Tomichi Murayama. In 1995, Murayama expressed his deep remorse and heartfelt apology for Japan's past aggression and colonial rule. Prime Minister Abe said last month, the important point in issuing the statement is how his own thoughts can be understood. He said there would be no need to make a new statement if it's going to say the same thing as those in the past. People were also asked about restarting suspended nuclear power plants. 17% of respondents approved, 44% are opposed, 32% said they had no opinion. All of Japan's reactors are currently offline. Utilities must meet new regulations introduced after the 2011 Fukushima accident in order to restart them.